Hi pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, Trudy investigates a possible UFO connection when a body disappears from the morgue in the episode Missing Hours. On this week in Vice, we'll be taking a look back when this episode of Miami Vice aired, from November 9th to November 15th, 1987, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on November 15th, Continental Airlines Flight 1713 crashed, leaving Denver International Airport en route to Boise, Idaho. A wing from the plane struck the ground on takeoff, causing the plane to roll and a fireball inside the cabin. 25 of the 77 passengers and three crew members of five died in the accident. The NTSB attributed poor piloting and improper de-icing to the crash of the Douglas DC-9 aircraft. In music, with Tiffany still at the top of the Hot 100, we go to the archives. Peaking at number four this week is Little Lies from Fleetwood Mac. From the album Tango in the Night, it's the third single and reached number one on the adult contemporary charts. Although I'm not much of a fan of Fleetwood Mac, this is my favorite. In movies, believe it or not, this is the last week Fatal Attraction will be at the top of the box office, so let's go back to the archives one last time. Instead of looking back, I'm going to look forward to a film that will be lost behind Running Man. Released on November 18th is The Last Emperor, a masterful biopic of The Last Emperor of China. The film is a spanning epic and critically acclaimed, winning nine Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. Considering the movies that surround The Last Emperor, it's often forgotten and is truly a masterful piece of artwork and that's everything you need to know that was happening when miami vice was king be sure to join us on go with the heat at go with the i'd love to hear from you email the show go with the heat at gmail.com or follow us on twitter at go with the heat that's all for this week bye pals